A lot of levels in the back rooms seem to have random things happen inside of them with no real purpose. Things tend to seem uncanny and out of place, and we don't even question it. And as for today's backrooms level, something is controlling it. Something malevolent, something dark and sinister, something beyond what we know to be reality. And in this video, I'll be explaining it. Let's get to the explanation, shall we? Backrooms level 890, or overprotection as it's been nicknamed, is classified as a class pending survival difficulty because it's unsafe and unsecure to be frank. There is a low entity count, but it doesn't matter because the entity that is here is, is just very dangerous. Again, I'll get into that later. Hold tight. Level 890 is the 891st level in the catalogs of lore, and it takes the following appearance. The level resembles a foggy, empty, and abandoned amusement park with signage that calls itself Happy World. As if that's not creepy enough, it gets worse. The park is brightly and vibrantly decorated, and it has booths and rides and buildings and games and all sorts of the other stuff that you would see at a theme park from real life. The air smells sugary and you can smell food cooking, and there's just this cheerful vibrance to the surroundings. The entire theme park will pretty much remind you of a local county fair from your childhood or like a state fair or something and oftentimes it looks like that too with the ferris wheels and the you know the party games and everything like that sometimes it looks a little too much like the things from your childhood and the fairs from your childhood and it seems that the level somehow warps it to look like that specifically for you and anyone else who comes here so watch out for that the vast majority of the level is unexplored due to honestly how hard it is to even get here but the environment itself poses pretty much no danger to wanderers that are exploring here, except the obvious dangers of like falling off a ride or falling and like breaking an ankle or something. Other than that, it's only your fault that you can get injured. The real dangers will come later, I promise. The park seems to be fully maintained and taken care of, and most things here are very clean and they're very orderly. But the problem is, no workers or any other things are ever seen walking around here. It's almost like the level cleans itself. Sometimes the Ferris wheel and the other rides will literally start and operate themselves as well. The air I mentioned smells very sweet, like funnel cakes or fried Oreos, and these smells are emitting from the food stands and trucks that are scattered throughout the park. These trucks are typically in these food court type areas where there's a bunch of vendors and stores and shops and souvenir stores and all of them have like merchandise and hats and stuff for the Happy World amusement park. The Happy World logos and designs are very uncanny looking and you'll get strange unnerving feelings while looking at them. You know it's not real, but it looks so real. It looks like somebody did this on purpose, but there's no one else around. Now the bad news about that good smelling food is that it's usually spoiled or rotten, so you can't eat anything, but these souvenir shops do typically have small supplies and sometimes even drinks or, you know, refreshments in the refrigerators inside. It's highly recommended to drink almond water while you're exploring this carnival, that way you don't get overwhelmed with the feelings of uneasiness or loneliness or anything like that. It's a very common thing to get those feelings, just don't worry about it, okay? Level 890 has absolutely no day or night cycle, and it's stuck in a constant daytime. And the temperature here stays from a 53 degrees Fahrenheit to like 68 degrees, which is 12 Celsius to 20 Celsius. For anyone here that's not from the US of A, which means it's a very cool and crisp level to be on. The level is prone to random events of thick fog rolling in that covers up the sun and the sky. This fog is a moniker of bad things to come, and it gives the entire place a very unsettling energy. The fog will also make it hard to explore the level, since, well, you can't see through fog, but besides that, the level is normally safe until the fog happens. It seems as if whatever or whoever controls the level uses this calm and vibrant theme park as a sort of distraction, and then once the fog comes in, the facade falls and crumbles. Let me explain. It's thought, due to a few logs being found, and a few writings, and a few notes, and just word of mouth, that a single entity rules over this level and controls it. The entity is only known as Restatic. The creature seems to be perpetually covered up in fog, and it is extremely malevolent and insidious. It seems to be able to control the fog and use it in a way to like hunt and capture its prey, which is, which is you in this case. The following notes and description is all we have of the entity. 
It takes the very vague appearance of a humanoid shape. It can block out the sun with fog when it's close, and it also has this like splash damage effect where structures and items nearby will start to decay into black dust and soot when it walks closer. Lastly, it seems to be able to animate regular objects into entities and creatures. The creature is so powerful and it seems to have full grasp and control over the life here. If you've ever seen like the Avengers movies, it's like Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. It can pretty much do anything here. The entity is known to attack wanderers on sight and it'll do so quickly and without remorse. Allegedly, people have reported structures changing into giant snakes or scary animatronics or human parts just dragging themselves along, but pretty much the entity can transform the entire reality to look however it wants to. And it pretty much will realize your biggest fear while it's attacking you. It's a very dark force, a macabre energy, black as the night. If you look at the entity, it almost looks to be a wormhole or a pitch vanta black, and you just get this sinking feeling in your gut by seeing it off in the misty fog. Safe to say, just don't look at it. You'll know the creature is coming because of that fog, like I said, and if you do see the fog, you need to run and you need to hide, because if you don't, the entity, it will find you. There are several places of interest inside of the Happy World Amusement Park that I'm about to go over. There are the vibrant gardens, the black tent rooms, the rides, and the parking lots, as well as a river area. Now, most of these are self-explainable, but since I'm here to explain the self-explainable, I'm gonna go over them. The gardens here are filled with strange, colorful flowers and large humanoid statues. The statues are known to be like animatronics in a way, and they're fully movable. They seem to have free locomotion. They're very creepy to stare at, and they give off uncanny valley energy, but they're not known to be dangerous. The black tent rooms are a collection of tents with black fabric, and you can enter these tents, and once you do your inside, you'll notice that there's a ton of infinite paths that you can take to walk from tent to tent. It's kind of like the labyrinth of level zero, but inside of tents. The restatic entity that controls the level seems to be drawn to these tents, but other than this, not much is known about them. The working rides in this level are just rides. That's it. There's roller coasters, Ferris wheels, all that kind of stuff, but you should never get on a ride, because if you do, you might be teleported directly to the restatic entity. The parking lots here are filled with old, rusty, and corroded cars, and a lot of these cars are uncanny and liminal. It seems like it's a snapshot out of the 80s. And lastly, the river is the rarest part of the level. It's located in a small greenery section of the park, and the river is a cool and liminal area where you can swim in the water, and it's normally known as the safest part of the level because the restatic entity typically doesn't venture this way. To enter the level, you have to find a colorful wall in level 122, and no clip through it of course, and to exit, you need to go into a random souvenir shop near the food trucks, and you need to find a door, labeled exit, of course. If you go through that door, then you'll wake up on level 448. But in order to get to the exit, you're going to need to evade the restatic entity and all its strange power chasing you down. If you think you can do that, be my guest and try, but I'm going to be honest, I doubt you can. This level really preys on childhood innocence because its description and its environment is so calm and full of joy, but then you realize something sinister controls the entire place and it uses that calmness as a trap. The entire level is like a mouse trap in a way, and the cheese that's used to set the trap is the cool and, you know, vibrant area that you recognize from your childhood. But when you stick your head in too close, the restatic entity will slam down on top of you, and, well, <laughs> it'll, it'll consume you. That's all I'm gonna say. On that great note... That is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you enjoyed it, drop a like for the old Brewster. It helps the algorithm push me more, and it makes me smile, man. It's a win-win. Follow my Instagram and Twitter if you do want to keep up with my life and pictures that I post with other YouTubers and other people and my friends. It's pretty cool over there. I post a lot. And if you have any other suggestions on videos I should do, just drop a comment. Tell me. I'll be glad to do them. With all that said, love and appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next video.